What are you building over here? I am building us a green smoothie today. So day two using our new Nama C2. So I'm doing our typical green smoothie with tons of green powder and spirulina and protein, chia and flax, dulse, Brazil nut for selenium. Then I'm gonna add in frozen mango, frozen wild blueberries, and frozen bananas. Bananas are like the foundation for every smoothie. It's one of our favorite combinations. You get the high antioxidant load from the wild blueberries, lots of vitamin C in our mango, and it really sweetens it up. It gives it a nice little tropical twist. So we start every single morning with a green smoothie, or I guess I should say a smoothie with tons of greens added into it because they don't always look green. As of late, I've been doing tons of wild blueberries in our green smoothies, so they almost turn out like a very black smoothie. They're so nutrient dense, very antioxidant rich, high in healthy omega-3 fatty acids and other essential nutrients like protein and iron, vitamin K, selenium, iodine, did I say? Um, yeah, I could go on and on, but they're literally so packed full of nutrition. They're so satiating too. Whenever I have it, I'm just ready to go. So after that, I went out for a run and followed it with a Peloton ride. I've been loving my cardio. Been doing some resistance training, but just not enjoying it quite as much as I was before becoming pregnant. I am finally at halfway 20 weeks in my third plant-based vegan pregnancy. Feeling great. This is always the point where I really truly begin to hit my stride. So a lot of people do around 13, 14 weeks when they're transitioning to second trimester, but honestly, for me, it always takes till about halfway. And in the meantime, I thought I would walk you through what a typical day of eating has looked like for me lately in the second trimester. I think my number one most consumed food has been wild blueberries. So usually it's either green smoothie or green juice, but more commonly green smoothie because we just feel like we can get a lot more calories and nutrition in there, especially for the kids' sake as well. Usually we'll follow it with some type of oat dish. So we've got so many, but my favorite obsession lately has been the wild blueberry muffins I make. So again, just like the green smoothie, like a ridiculous amount of whole food healthy ingredients. We've got chia and flax for omega-3s, the wild blueberries for all of the antioxidants. Oats are super rich in minerals and iron especially. I also always throw in a couple of ripe speckled bananas and tons of dates. So not your store-bought dates that are always dry and super hard to chew. We get the super juicy, moist, fresh dates from an organic date ranch in California. I'll link it below. They're so amazing. If you've never liked dates, it's probably because you're not getting dates like this. So definitely check them out. So smoothies, juices, oats of some sort, and lots of fresh fruit. Dusty just rinsed a whole bunch of berries, which I was having major aversions to, sadly, in first trimester, but I have been going crazy for them now again. They're so good. Even my midwife was stressing the importance of berries. Eat as many as you like. You can never consume too many berries. They're that good for you. So we're gonna snack on these muffins for kind of like a brunchy lunch. Usually we just really front load our day with hearty, healthy, wholesome breakfasts that are varied in nutrients. We kind of graze and snack throughout the day on baked goods as well as veggies and fruit. And then we end with a very hearty, wholesome dinner that's very filling. So we have been eating super early since the time change especially. And being that there's less and less room in my stomach, usually I can eat around five or six and be fine for the evening. But if I feel like I need something else, it usually ends up being like a small bowl of chocolatey peanut butter nice cream, or maybe just some fruit, like Honeycrisp apples that are so good right now. Usually what I've been loving lately is spinach salads. So I never used to love spinach that much, but right now it's the only green that I have really been loving so much. It's in season and I love to top it with pomegranate and a big squeeze of juicy lemon and top it with some walnuts or hemp seeds I shared in a recent video actually. And then I like to put some mandarins in there or orange slices as well. And it's so simple, but so refreshing and very vitamin and mineral rich. Two, two, sidewalk, two 
repairs sidewalk to to sidewalk so if you guys are interested in meal plans and more recipes like this be sure to join the eat move rest club it's our yearly membership that gives you access to all of our content in one central location so instant access to our meal planner and recipe app that also is soon to contain meditation and mindfulness tracks as well as health articles there are workouts on there already and the arsenal of recipes is growing every time we make a video or content with new recipes they go right into the app you also gain instant access to our entire ebook collection there's a three-day juice feast in there which is a great detox our family favorite recipe ebook with over 75 recipes and Dusty and I's favorite part, the private Facebook group and the community that we're building together. So we love it because it's very intimate and exclusive and we get to know all of you. We do weekly live stream Q and A calls and monthly group Zoom coaching calls so we can really connect face to face and help you guys where you need it most. If this is something that piques your interest, tap the link below in the description and enter your information at checkout and you're in. Just you and me out in the still, evening chill, what a thrill, alone on Christmas with you. So good, what are you building? Just a tower. Just a tower? Mm-hmm. Is that what is that what you want to do when you grow up? Mm-hmm. You want to build buildings and houses? Mm-hmm. So Dusty and the kids aren't hungry. They had a super heavy late lunch. So on nights like this where I'm making my own dinner, I tend to just opt for super straightforward and simple Buddha bowl style dishes. Emphasizing the protein and iron, I'm making some baked tofu seasoned with just some coconut aminos drizzled on top. Then I'm also gonna boil up some quinoa, which is, again, protein and iron. And I soaked some chickpeas last night, so I'll put those in the Instant Pot. More protein and iron. And then my healthy carbs, I'm baking up one garnet orange flesh sweet potato and one Japanese, which is a white flesh sweet potato. And then again, for healthy fats with dinner, I usually do either like some avocado slices or cubed avocado or a spread of hummus or all of the above. absolute favorite late night snacks are air popped popcorn seasoned with just Himalayan salt and nutritional yeast and our favorite favorite for the holidays is our date hot cacao so it is free of refined sugars just sweetened with dates it's dairy free and super duper frothy high in antioxidants you're gonna love it definitely check it out I will link the Instagram reel with the recipe in the description Cheers, happy holidays, and we will see you next weekend with our New York City Christmas in the City vlog with healthy holiday travel tips. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.